Hello guys, welcome. If you are trying to install Mac OS in your MacBook and you have a Windows PC with you and you have a USB drive with you, then I will tell you how you can make this USB drive bootable using your Windows PC for your MacBook. Okay, so let's start and see how we can make this bootable. Okay guys, so now I am on my Windows PC and we will uh, try to make that uh, uh, USB drive as bootable. So let's start. First of all, you have to click on that start menu and then type CMD, CMD. So right click on that CMD and then run as administrator. You will get one pop up, click on yes and you will see this window command prompt. Okay, here we have to run a couple of commands to make that bootable. Okay, so first step is disk part. First command is disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Okay, then press enter, you will see it. And then next command is list disk. Okay, it will just show the disks, how many disks are there on there uh, on your PC. Okay, so list disk. See, it is showing me two uh, disk, disk zero and disk one. So see the second one, this one, 7633. That is my 8 GB pen drive I have put in my laptop. Okay, in my Windows laptop. So the next step is we have to select our uh, disk. Okay whatever we want whatever disk or whatever usb drive we want to make it bootable so for that you have to type select and whatever disk is given so here the name of disk is disk one okay so we will type disk one select disk one okay so disk one is now selected disk okay now we have to clean it so type clean you'll see this and then you have to Right, convert GPT to make it as GPT. So C O N V E R T G P T. Okay. So disk part, uh, disk part successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. Okay. And now we have to make this as the primary uh, primary partition. So what we will do that create primary partition. You have to type create primary partition just hit enter okay so your create partition uh, primary partition is done okay now what we will do our next step is just to close this window okay and we will download a couple of software like two softwares okay one software actually and one dmg file whatever os we want to i mean install in our macbook we will download that okay so for that i'll give you the two links okay and you can use any other link as well but uh, two links one is this acute system acute systems.com and uh, then scrmtm.stm okay here you can see the link for the uh, uh, transmac there is one software called as transmac you have to download that software and they are giving uh, like it is a licensed software so you can either buy a uh, uh, buy a like a uh, license for this one or you can use the trial version for the 15 days okay they are giving the 15 days trial version so you have to click on this trans setup.exe and guys, if this is not working on your like browser, I'll uh, suggest to use another browser because in some browsers it won't download. So here you can see it got downloaded very quickly. It's a small file. So and now you have to install that uh, trans uh, trans Mac on your system. OK, so here I have already in, uh, downloaded it and you have to double click on this trans Mac. Give you a pop up. Click on yes. And then next. And then you have to read these terms and then click on next and then transmac installed okay whatever location you want to install and then give the name and you can choose these options and then click on uh, i mean yes so i have already installed that transmac okay so i won't install it again and but you just have to install this okay another thing is like you need to get the operating system file so for that you can use any site like uh, I have used this one softwares.net or you can use like Apple site as well. So I'll provide you these links in the description and I will also provide all those steps whatever I have explained in the command prompt 
okay so all those things you will get in the uh, description so now here you have to type like a, a line or Sarah or whatever operating system you want to download so just click on that type line here and then click on search it will give you the uh, list of the like operating systems and then click on this like first one okay I, I just want to install this Mac OS X on my uh, MacBook so click on this one and then it will give you a download link for that uh, dmg file so here it is showing me the download uh, 3.5 uh, 3.53 gb uh, mac os line so just click on that and it will take some time to download uh, because it's like a 3.53 gb and uh, uh, depending on the, your internet speed it may take some time so just download this one so first thing is like download the trans mac and install it and second thing is like whatever operating system you want to download you can download that operating system dmg file and now we will uh, see how we can use the TransMac to make your USB as bootable, okay? So I have downloaded this, this one as well. Once you will click on this uh, uh, DMG file link, then it will start in two seconds, one second. But I have already downloaded it uh, to make this video as short, okay? So you can see it got, uh, it started downloading. So I won't download it because I already have it on my PC, okay? Here I have downloaded it uh, uh, for my PC. Uh, so we will use this one so on the transmac i have installed the transmac again you have to run that transmac in the uh, in the like uh, administrator mode okay so here type transmac after that installation is complete type transmac you will see this one and then right click on it and run as administrator okay i pop up click on yes Then you will see the TransMax a free trial I'm using now, but uh, you can depending on like uh, if you want to use the free version or you want to buy a license for this one. So they are giving the 15 days uh, time. I mean, uh, so 14 days are left. You can, it will take few seconds and now you can click on that run. Here on the left hand side, we can see these disks, right? So last one is our disk like send disk cruiser, whatever I have, uh, uh, we have like uh, uh, used that as the uh, primary partition we have created, right? So just right click on this one and then restore with disk image, okay? Restore with disk image and here we will just choose that uh, DMG file of operating system whatever we have downloaded, okay? So this is the Mac OS line which we have downloaded, right? So just open it and click on OK, okay? Now it will, it will give you a one pop-up message, click on yes and you can see the process has started, okay? So now it's just copying that DMG file in our USB drive. It will take like a few minutes uh, to complete uh, depending on your like operating system and speed but it may take like 10-15 minutes. Okay guys, so you can see it is almost complete and once it is completed, you will see this kind of pop-up restore complete okay just click on ok and then close this uh, window as well and you just have to eject your uh, pen drive or usb drive okay guys so now we have this operating system in our send disk pen drive okay and we will install this operating system in a macbook that macbook is like 2011 macbook and we will install this operating system mac os line in that 2011 macbook okay so let's start for that so now I have plugged that uh, the USB drive in my MacBook and we will start the process here. Okay, so how we will do it? Like see, you can see the option key here and then one power button here. So what you have to do, you have to hold the option key and then you also have to uh, press the uh, power button. So I'm just holding this option key, okay? Holding this option key and then after that I'm pressing the power button. You can see, hope you can see, okay? So just pressing this power button and release this power button but do not release the option key i am still holding the option key and now you will see some of the options in the uh, screen so see you you can see the option like depending on your system you can see one option or two option now you can release the option key and here is our mac os x okay we uh, it is from our pen drive so we will just choose it but before choosing it like make sure friends your system should not be connected to the any of the wi-fi network so just disconnect if it is connected to any of the wi-fi network just disconnect it because we will just install it from the uh, pen drive okay so just choose it and then click on this arrow it will give you the apple logo 
and then it will show us the uh, some of the utilities okay disk and uh, from there we will start so now it is showing us this window mac os x utilities window from here you just have to choose this mac os x and then click on the continue just click on continue now you will see the uh, mac os line here and uh, you just have to uh, again click on continue and then terms and condition then click agree okay now you have to choose your like uh, where where you want to install that so just uh, choose your hard disk here okay and then click on install so it will just ask for the confirmation and you can see your mac os x line installation is in progress and it will just take few minutes to complete and in in few minutes your macbook will have the operating system so friends that was all about our video and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think like it can help them as well thanks for watching